Thank you, Mark, for introduction. You saw life transcribe when Mark spoke, but now you see a phonia. A phonia understand my speech. Life transcribe understand other people's speech. This is what I'll be talking about as main example how you can communicate with people. We have now life transcribe that allows me to understand other people. And we have a formula that allows other people to understand me even I have strong Russian accent. <laughs> but let me tell a little bit history. 30 years ago, I moved from academia to speech technology team. My dream was to develop speech recognition system that would help people who do not hear to communicate. I thought the solution for this problem five years away. Five years passed. I thought would more another five years Solve this. And this lasted for 25 years. Then I moved to Google. And the last five years, Google developed a lot of critical applications for speech technology. Please show me next slide. Oh. So I'll be talking about this like transcribe a phony and something that grew around them. Like caption, slide caption, paratron, intact interviews. But let me ask you something. You have a lot of information now. You have information from many streams. So when I speak, what is this? Because this gives you an idea how a phonia understands me. When other people speak, you watch this. This will give you an idea how I transcribe and understand me. But at first, show video about life transcribe to start the next slide. I'm completely lost hearing when I was one year old. Technology provides tremendous opportunities to help people with disability. I research scientist at Google and I'm developing speech recognition in technology. Speech recognition accuracy finally became so good that I could fulfill my dream for whole life to use speech recognition to communicate with people. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? I'm doing good. What can I get you today? I would like tea. Light transcribe is an application that run in Android. It provides transcription of speech for deaf and hard of hearing in real time. 
Dimitri worked with the speech team to develop that technology and Google has made strides in this in the past couple of years, but the app itself is what I've been working on. I'm not an Android engineer. I saw an opportunity for something useful and dug into that and kind of evolved naturally. Did I already mention to you I'm having one of my famous chili parties again this weekend? This was something that was born out of Dimitri's needs. All the technology existed already. It was kind of just a matter of hooking the wires together. Gallaudet University is the premier university for the deaf and hard of hearing in the world, really. We have been partnering with them to see how people are going to use Live Transcribe. I started using it, and the first time was with my two sons. Both of them are hearing, and they can sign a little bit, but not a lot. So I use Live Transcribe with them. Why do they say go? Live Transcribe is changing the way we communicate with hearing people. How about your math class? I'm doing good. We still have to review every day. Here you can see an example of multiplication problems. Information is power. And Live Transcribe gives us deaf people an opportunity to be more empowered. But let me show you another way how I'm using a live transcribe. I have this small phone. I have a band and magnet. Now my hands are free. It is very convenient. I can eat and talk to people. It has Android. It's Palm. So I recommend everybody. You can buy it cheap on eBay for $50. And extra convenient, small magnet. It's very strong. I can weigh. It does not fail. So I'm strongly recommend to use this. Let me take it out. So, we developed at Google also a phonia. A phonia is different. This is live transcribe and a phonia. A phonia is on device model. It is located in small Android. Live transcribe requires model on cloud. And it also a phone and understand other people too. So if I get stuck in elevator, I cannot use live transcribe to discuss with people how to get out. Because no Wi-Fi in elevator usually, but I can get a phone and it understands my voice, and it understands other people's voice. So, let's run now more about a phone. Google has very good general speech recognition, but if you do not sound as most of people, it will not understand you. No one's ever co-active large data sets have 
people whose speech is hard for others to understand. People who have multiple sclerosis, for GF, who had stroke, who stutter. They're not used in training the speech recognition models. I mean, the game is, is to record things. What's the temperature today? And then have it recognize things that you say that aren't in the training set. Dimitri recorded 15,000 phrases. It wasn't obvious that this was going to work. He just sat there and he kept recording. We need to make all voice interactive devices be able to understand any person who speaks to them. You can see that it's possible to make a speech recognizer to work for Dimitri. It should be possible to make it work for many people, even people who can't speak because they've lost the ability to speak. The work that Shenxing has done on, you know, voice utterances from sounds alone, you can communicate. But there might be other ways of communicating. Most people with ALS end up using an on-screen keyboard and having to type each individual letter with their eyes. For me, communicating is slow. Steve might crack a joke and it's related to something that happened, you know, a few minutes ago. The idea is to create a tool so that Steve yes. can train machine learning models himself no. to understand his facial expressions. <laughs> To be able to laugh, to be able to cheer, to be able to boo. Things that seem maybe superfluous, but actually are so core to being human. I still think this is only the tip of the iceberg. We're not even scratching the surface yet of what is possible. If we can get speech recognizers to work with small numbers of people who we'll learn lessons, which we can then combine to build something that really works for everyone. To understand and be understood is absolutely unbelievable. And I can now plan to give mathematical lectures. My background is mathematics. So I can tell now algebraic geometry, commutative moving loop. I plan to give lecture in Paris to my mathematical friends where I finally can speak all these wonderful words. It's absolutely unbelievable. It is a transformative moment for society. Parents of deaf children now have completely new opportunity. Now their children could be fully integrated in society in new ways. You know, it's very difficult for speech therapist to teach a deaf person to speak. It takes many, many years of practice. Sometimes with no results. I know someone, deaf person, he told me he spent many years with speech therapist. He came to shop. He asked for beer, for beer. He asked to buy beer. Oh. And he could not get this. They did not understand what to buy. But now the situation is different. It's difficult to teach person to speak well, so others understand that person. But it's much easier to teach person that machine understand the person. This way people can have more motivation, start to speak, speak better, and to be integrated in, at school, in many societies where they can immediately get current services or sign interpreters. They Many, many thousand users of live transcribe now. They tell us stories. They come to hospital. 
and hospital forget to hire for them some interpreter. So they are taking life transcribe and they are talking to doctors. And doctors are amazed. Someone told me when doctors said the whole hospital come away to see how it's wonderful transcribes. Okay. Now let's see what is the next slide. Oh. A phone, it is one method to make speech and to understand non-standard speech. But we have another research method. We are new that we started recently. It's called Parotron. Parotron maps directly and one audio, non-standard audio, into another audio. That could be standard speech. And it trains neural network to make this standard map, to make map from standard speech, to, from non-standard speech to standard. A phonia is different. A phonia is speech recognition that have many models, many systems. It has acoustic system. It has language model system. So let's play next video that shows how Paratron works. Help hey, Google. Next. How many units in one meter? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. How many yards in a meter? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. How far is that the Jovacet from Sadu Valley? Southern University and A&M College is 645 miles away from Missouri. What is the definition of rain? Here's the definition of rain. Moisture condensed from the atmosphere that falls visibly in separate drops. This one? What is the definition of a rhythm? Hey Google, what is the definition of rhythm? Here's the definition of rhythm. A strong, regular, repeated pattern of movement of sound. <laughs> <laughs> and let me show now live, what is next, oh, live caption, okay, I'll make a demo for this. Let me choose a random video. Please switch to my phone. To switch to live transcribe phone, please. I'm choosing random video. I did not prepare it in advance. So let me see what I find. see caption you can now for any video on let go back to slide so you can now, for any video, to have its transcription run in pixel 4. 
And soon it will be available in pixel free. It's fantastic scenic because a lot of videos do not have caption at all. Now just run this and you see caption. Next slide. We also have a remarkable slide caption. I love you. It's time that somebody make presentation. I immediately remind this person, please run caption so I can see what you are talking. And next slide. And then recent milk modification, you can change font for slide. How big are slides? Next for next. Next slide. Oh, now when I'm using transcription, I need I cannot look at people. I need, but I want to see people when I'm talking. So it's developed. We are developing now at a research project tactile wearable devices. It maps audio into tactile information. You can feel environment. You can feel sound. It represents several classes of sound. So I think with this, you can start to repeat people and feel sound. So you have more interaction than when you look on this than on person, than on this. Please run video for this. This video shows our concept for a tactile device to enable deaf and hard of hearing users to feel sound. Our concept is a device with multiple vibrating tactors, worn on the forearm or someplace out of the way. Each tactor responds to a different valve. Okay, now for a demo. Here I am using the interface. The hexagons visualize what the tactors are doing. Beat, bat, boot, aloha, catch you later, catch you later. Next slide, please. Okay, so it's finished. We finished. Thank you for your attention to this critical application that helped to change people's lives. I don't know if I have time for questions. If not, I'll just go. But otherwise, if I have time for questions, you could ask for your last transcribe. Uh, I haven't looked at the uh, uh, slide. I was transfixed, sorry. <clears throat> Does anybody have a question? Why don't I just see if anybody in the audience wants to know one thing? No? I have one. What's the, nec what's the next thing you want to run live transcribe. Just a moment. What's the next thing you want to develop? This tactile device. I want to develop this tactile device that I'm talking about. It is the next project that I'm focusing on. And what time scale have you given yourself? Is it another five years? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it will be fast. Google is very fast. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank, Thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank you.